So originally this week, I was going to be focusing on GoldenEye Source. It's, it's a wonderful mod, really fantastic, completely free to play, doesn't require a base game at all, and, and recreates that GoldenEye multiplayer on the PC in the Source engine. It's fantastic. As, as many people as possible should go check it out. But unfortunately, that has been overshadowed somewhat. <laughs> and that is because this morning, as I was just casually browsing my Twitter feed, news came out from Gamescom in Cologne that Konami have revealed Metal Gear Survive. Now, at first I thought it was a joke, and then I realized it's not April 1st. It is, in fact, August 17th right now. And um, the, the more I look through the tweets, the more I had to come to the conclusion that this wasn't some elaborate joke orchestrated by Konami at fans' expense, and I, I went and looked at the trailer, and <laughs> what the fuck, Konami? What the ever-loving fuck? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be swearing a hell of a lot during the course of this video because I don't know if any of you are aware of this, but the Metal Gear franchise is a series of games that is very near and dear to my heart. It's part of my gaming DNA. And to see this as the next installment after Metal Gear Solid 5, after being left wanting by the way that ended, this just feels like a colossal slap in the face. And uh, just to, to bring up a tweet from GamesNosh, they kind of had the, the observation that why is this zombie thing not the Pachinko Machine and the MGS3 remake not the video game? Because uh, if you're not aware, Konami decided to make a pachinko machine with lovely updated cutscenes from Metal Gear Solid 3. Fans would kill to play a version of Metal Gear Solid 3 rendered in something like the Fox engine, but no! We've got this instead. We've got a game that posits the theory that when Mother Base uh, was destroyed at the end of Ground Zeroes, a wormhole opened up in the sky, sucking everything up and dumping it into an alternate reality, an alternate universe where there's some weird crystal zombies and they have to all band together. The survivors of this cataclysm have to band together and, um, yeah, do some four-player co-op zombie survival. I mean, what the hell, really? Was that the best idea you could come up with for a side story? I'm, I'm all for wacky kind of side story things, but when people are as salty as they were over how Metal Gear Solid V ended up and how there was a few bits and bobs missing, you, you, <laughs> you don't come back with something like this, good grief! Not to mention this comes less than a year after the release of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. The, the, the initial release date for that was September 1st, 2015, and the, the space between then and now is not enough time to create a brand new game from the base up. Th this is definitely going to be something that's taking a lot of pre-existing assets and flipping them for uh, a, a quite frankly retarded new purpose because co-op co zombie survival is nothing new. It's, it's quite possibly one of the most unoriginal things you could do right now. I mean, Call of Duty has been doing it for God knows how many years now and jumping on that bandwagon now? <laughs> really, Konami? You, you, you just don't have a single friggin' original bone in your body. Okay, I've got to give credit to the complete whack job in the office that suggested a wormhole opening up and sucking Mother Base up and dumping it somewhere with, with all this wacky shit happening, but come on. Come on, there are just so many better concepts you could, you could derive from the destruction of Mother Base. You could follow some of the, the disenfranchised soldiers from that as they try to rebuild their own little mercenary outfit within the pre-existing Metal Gear Solid V world. But no, th this is how they chose to pursue it. This is how they're choosing to pursue the expansion of the Metal Gear Solid V universe by going wacky, smoking a load of crystal friggin' meth, and, and, and creating Metal Gear Survive. And... Just looking at the video, I, I can already kind of tell how a lot of the stuff is going to go. In, in, in fact, I had a few predictions on my Twitter feed that I, I just put up, and first of which was, I'm pretty sure that the, the Metal Gear Survive map will literally be Afghanistan from Metal Gear Solid V with, with some Mother Base Ruin assets dumped into the middle of it. You know what's worse as well? The, the shot of Mother Base that was in there, that's just the asset of the, the new Mother Base that you build in Metal Gear Solid 5. As far as I can tell, that's not the original Mother Base. If they were going to get that right, 
it would have been the, the old mother based design from Peace Walker, but they can't even fucking get that right. Uh, second of all, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to turn out to be some crazy fever dream. Who knows? It, it might turn out to be the fever dream of Venom while he's in a coma. That'll, that'll make about as much sense as anything else. And my last prediction was there was a little teaser at the end of the video with something stompy and roary coming towards the soldiers. And um, a lot of people think it's going to be a, a Metal Gear. I'm, I'm pretty sure some people have confirmed it will have a Metal Gear in it. And considering all of the asset flipping going on from, from Metal Gear Solid 5 into Metal Gear Survive, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be some reskinned version of Sahelanthropus, that big giant upright Metal Gear, just encrusted with crystal and shit. And you can, you can screenshot this, I've got it on my Twitter feed, you, you can you know, file this away for the future to, to see if my predictions come true, but this is just really pants on head retarded. You know what's interesting? Before I sat down to record this, I decided to engage in a little bit of a thought experiment, and it was based around the idea of what if Kojima was still part of the Metal Gear franchise right now? What if everything had, you know, happened the same way it already has? And what if this Metal Gear Survive announcement was still attached to Kojima's name? What if he was still behind it? Would people be celebrating this? Would they be really excited and thinking, yeah, this is the best thing ever, Kojima's a genius and I, I'm, I'm thinking uh, the reaction would be pretty much the same as it is now because th no one wants this. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone wants this at all. No one even thought this was a possibility. Nobody thought this was even on the table and, and even K if Kojima was the one to suggest it, I think a lot of people would rightfully flip the shit, and uh, that is certainly what they're doing right now, because uh, the, the dislike to like ratio on the trailer featured by uh, IGN's channel at the moment is uh, kind of hilarious, and I can only see that number growing by the time I, I, I actually get around to posting this video, but yeah, if this would have been something Kojima pulled out of his backside, I think people would be just as pissed off as they are now, and thankfully that isn't the case, Kojima jumped that ship. He got away from that abusive Konami relationship, and he's probably having a grand old time now with Norman Reedus uh, making Death Stranding. But right now, this is what Metal Gear looks like without Kojima, and the difference is kind of startling, even down to the presentation of the actual trailer itself. You know, if uh, Kojima had his hands on that, it would have been a damn sight classier, even with all the goofy crystal zombie shit, but... Man, I was not expecting to have to deal with this announcement when I woke up this morning. <laughs> so yeah, over to you guys really, what do you think about this announcement? How do you feel about Metal Gear being uh, continued in this fashion? Do you have any hope for the future of the Metal Gear franchise? Can Konami pull it back from the precipice or is it already plunging into the abyss? I'm leaning a little more towards the latter because um, after the Pachinko Machine, after this announcement, and it's, it's pretty much dead to me right now. It, it will require some absolutely serious CPR in order to resuscitate my hopes for the Metal Gear franchise. At the very least, they could. They could have completed um, that little extra mission. Mission 51, that's the one I'm thinking of. Kingdom of the Flies. It was supposed to tie up a dangling plot thread that was left unresolved in the, in the final game where... Liquid steals the giant robot of doom, flies off somewhere with his little psychic pal and a deadly parasite, no less, to start his own child soldier nation on an island somewhere, and Venom Snake Big Boss has to go and sort that shit out. It, it worked much more as a, a climax to the game. I mean, I don't really... I'm not really holding out hope for Chapter 3. Th that, that hope was extinguished long, long, long time ago. But this is something tangible. This is something that was actively being worked on. There was actual footage of how it was supposed to go, and it it could have been the perfect olive branch. It could have been the perfect thing to repair that rift between Konami and the Metal Gear fans. Make a statement saying, look, we care about this as much as you guys. We're going to polish this up. We're going to finish it. We're going to present it back to you the way it was meant to be. But no, they, they, they didn't do that. They didn't do the obvious thing. Either they don't have the in-house talent to get a task like that completed, or they, they just don't have a single brain cell between them to think it up in the first place. And yeah, now we've got this.
Now we've got Metal Gear Survive, but you know what? I've ranted on long enough. This has been Mr. Icarus. Thank you very much for watching. Icarus out.